All right guys, we're gonna be looking at the pros and cons of heel elevation and lower body movements today and why it's not always cheating when we use it. Heel elevation does get a little bit of a bad rap in the lifting community. Sometimes it's looked upon as a crutch uh, just so you can lean upon instead of working on your ankle mobility. We'll be looking at a different side of the coin with today's video and how heel elevation can actually improve your ankle mobility over time. When looking at lower body movements and the people that perform them, we can typically see two types of people. People that are hip dominant and people that are quad dominant. So for the people who are very quad dominant, we usually balance this out with like box squats or telling people to sit back and utilize their hips. It can be extremely difficult to get someone who's hip dominant to start using their quads. One of the tools to do so is elevating the heels and allowing the knee to track over the toe to, for the body to trust this movement. So methods to elevate the heels and getting your body trusting knee flexion again. Uh, one of my favorite ones would be the cyclist squat. Uh, having a high heel elevation and feet together to incorporate a lot of quad strength. Okay, setting this one up, just grab a plate or even a 45 if you want a really high incline. Heels are going to be on it, feet are going to be close, and you're going to be trying to stay as upright as possible, driving the knees over the toes, keeping the weight evenly on the feet. Heel elevation can be useful for virtually any lower body exercise. So next up on the list, Olympic weightlifting shoes can actually work in your favor for helping your ankle mobility over time. With a raised heel, uh, you're developing a lot more quad strength and staying a lot more upright through the major lifts. These shoes can even be used for deadlifting, just to kind of get your legs a little bit more involved with the movement if you find that you're not getting that leg drive off the get-go. As effective as heel elevation is, we don't want to rely on it 100%. Adding some mobility in your program and strengthening is going to help you get stronger quads and stay way more upright in your squats. Personal favorites, we'll start with a banded ankle mobilization. Our goal here is to get the talus to mobilize to allow our knee to go over our toe. Talus is a small bone in the front of our ankle that kind of gets jammed up. After that, we'll look at strengthening the tibialis anterior, a critical player for ankle dorsiflexion. We're gonna literally just lean against the wall, lock the knees, and do tib raises. Make sure your legs are straight. And third, old-fashioned calf raises of all types of variety will help strengthen the ankle itself. Hopefully I changed your views on heel elevation. It's not 100% cheat or crutch to rely on. It's actually a valuable tool to be used. Just don't rely on it too much. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.